As the saying goes, you get what you pay for, but high quality doesn't necessarily mean high cost, especially when it comes to automobiles. And we're talking with auto expert Michael Harley to learn more. Michael, uh, let's dive straight in here. What are some of the trends that you're seeing for 2021? Uh, we are seeing the same trends continue rollover basically from 2020, which is consumers are looking for trucks, crossovers and SUVs. Uh, they want technology, they want styling and uh, they want to go on road trips and they want to spend time with their family in their cars. Absolutely. I think a lot of us are ready to hit the road again. Now, let's talk about the pandemic because uh, obviously that's impacted a lot of things across the country. How's it impacted the auto industry? Absolutely. It's impacted just about everything, as you say. Uh, back in March, uh, right when the pandemic hit, we had slowdowns with production and delivery and inventory levels dropped. Uh, by April, it was probably one of the worst months the industry has seen in many, many years. But thankfully, uh, a lot of people have recovered and uh, the industry has recovered. Dealerships are now delivering personalized service. They're uh, making sure their environment's much more sterilized and consumers are actually back in the showrooms. And tell you the truth, we're almost seeing sales at pre-pandemic levels right now. Wow, that's really incredible to hear. That's good news, I guess, coming out, hearing that there's a turnaround in the market. Now, I know the Hyundai Tucson is definitely stirring up the industry. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I've got the uh, all new 2022 Hyundai Tucson to my side right here. Uh, it's all new design, it's larger. Basically what Hyundai did is they listened to the customers. They delivered more power, smoother transmission, more interior space, and a lot more technology. Uh, you know, some of the coolest things is that these jeweled headlights on the front that make the car very, very distinctive when it's rolling down the road. No other automaker at this price point has this kind of styling. And it's got some really cool technology. Not only can you start the car and unlock it with your phone, but it's got a remote start, a remote park app that allows you to back the car in and out of parking spaces with your key fob. Well, that's definitely convenient, especially here when it rains a lot <laughs> in Florida. So can you tell us what should, consumers really cons what should consumers really consider when it comes to affordability and design? Because sometimes it feels like you got to give one to get the other. Uh, you're exactly right. In the old days, those terms were very mutually exclusive. Uh, in order to get the really, really nice styling, you had to spend an awful lot of money. But what we're seeing today are many automakers are now delivering really, really nice styling at a much more affordable price point. Take the Hyundai Santa Fe to my right. This is heavily refreshed for 2021. This is what they call the calligraphy trim. It's the top of the line trim and it's got quilted Napa leather and a suede-like headliner. Those are the things that you had to buy a Bentley or a Rolls Royce for only maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Definitely. Now, Michael, can you tell our viewers where they can go to learn more information? Uh, to find more information about these two vehicles, which are literally brand new, I would head over to HyundaiUSA.com. Uh, you can configure the vehicle. You can look at all the options, a little B-roll as far as video goes, and you can even make an appointment with the dealer to get a test drive. Thank you so much for your time, Michael. We do appreciate it. And you can find all this information and more on our website at firstcoastliving.net.